Welcome back to question 2 June exam grade 12 2024. So this question it was a arithmetic it was a sequence and pattern series rather. Uh, now let's have a look at question 2. Question 2 we are given a uh, 2.1 there it says the given an arithmetic sequence uh, which is 85 82 79 76 and etc etc thereof now they want us to determine the simplified expression for tn all right this is great they've already told us that this is an arithmetic sequence and uh, so this is exactly what we're going to treat it as it's going to be 85 82 79 and 76 all right arithmetic sequence guys you will remember arithmetic is the one that has got a one different so we're going to say t2 minus that which is uh, t1 it's giving us negative 3 and also 79 minus 82 gives us negative 3 and also 76 minus 79 gives us negative 3 so in this case uh, we know the general term so it means that this is our difference and therefore our first term is going to be 85 and therefore According to the general formula, it is given by uh, Tn is equals to A plus N minus 1D. Alright, so they are asking us to find the general term or the expression of Tn. So therefore, A is going to be 85 plus N we don't know what n is because we're looking for the general formula minus one and negative three so therefore we're gonna go ahead and remove the bracket here by multiplying throughout by negative three here we're going to have 85 minus 3n uh, negative three times negative one gives us positive three so therefore our expression will be therefore given by 85 plus three is going to give us 88 minus three so therefore this is a, this is our general term thereof okay great stuff so let's move on 2.1.2 2.1.2 uh, it says that uh, which term would be the first negative term in the sequence so therefore which basically when it's it's, it's a negative term it means this term has to be less than zero so we're looking for a situation where tn will be less than zero so we already have got tn here we calculated it so therefore the best thing we can do is to substitute here and then find this term which is the n so that's what they're asking us to find in this case so therefore what you would do here you're going to come and substitute tn here which is 88 minus 3 n less than zero so therefore you are looking for n so you're going to take 88 to the other side here is going to change the sign it's going to be negative 3 n it's uh, less than 88 all right so therefore you divide by negative 3 throughout divide by negative throughout guys you remember with an inequality sign if you divide by a negative uh, therefore the inequality sign changes all right you guess you will remember this in grade 11 so therefore for the term that is greater than 88 over 3 that term will be will be the one that is negative so therefore when we to run this off uh, that term will be term num n is equals to 30. All right great stuff so now uh, guys if you've got any question on this question please uh, leave a comment on the comment section below or if you don't have any question let's rather continue move to question 2.2 2. all right and as the comment left on the previous video somebody said i need to change the color so let's do 2.2 .2 here 2.2 2 said a quadratic sequence with a general term t n has the following properties all right t 11 is given by that and then t n minus t n minus 1 is given by that and then n is starting with greater than 0. so basically guys don't be confused this is what we are given t 11 is 90 so we're gonna use that here this one here let's say for an example you was to say t n has to be 2 here on this expression you say n has to be equal to 2 let me just show you what this means it means that e is going to be t2 minus t which is 
n minus 2 which is 2 minus 1 is going to be t1 which is going to be like that all right so what does this mean this means that is the first difference so this expression here expresses the first difference of the equation of the quadratic equation so with that in mind uh, this is what we're gonna do now with that in mind so let's go ahead and find the you remember guys a uh, quadratic sequence is the one that is given t1 uh, t2 and then t3 is the one that has got the the second difference all right then you still got another term here you still got another term here and then you have got another difference there so i hope you guys really understand this then you go to t3 there then here would be your common difference here all right so therefore um let's go now and see what can we do with this expression given here so it means we can find this year which is our first difference so we can go ahead and find that so we're starting at n plus 2 so it means in this case t1 which is this t1 of the first difference i'm just gonna write here t1 of the first difference so that we don't get confused when you move on so it's going to be given by 4 2 minus 3 and therefore t2 t2 is going to be given by 4 3 minus 3 and also t3 in this case is going to be given by 4 times 4 minus 3 so this is 4 here all right and then uh, as we move along this one is going to give us 5 and then here we are going to get how much that is giving us 5 and i put this mark is going to give us 9 this one here is going to give us 16 16 minus 1 is going to 16 minus 3 rather is going to give us 13. okay so just to be clear guys this is our first difference all right so from our first difference we can go ahead and minus these terms here together to get the common difference at the end so if you were to minus this 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 13 minus 9 is gives us 4 so this is our common difference so guys you would know from the quadratic equation you know that uh, 2a it's equals to uh, it's equals to 2a it's equals to second difference okay i hope you guys you know this one and then 3a plus b it's equals to first term of first difference guys if you don't know this please uh, i suggest that you you really 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 copy it down a plus b plus c it's equals to t1 of original t1 of original original pattern okay so it means it's the original one which is this one here this this is this is what i'm referring to so now with that i think now we can go ahead and find a in this case so we know uh, 2a it's equals to a uh, first term of uh, second difference which is equals to 4 so in this case divided by 2 divided by 2 and therefore our a will be equal to 2 all right then we can go ahead now and look for b so it's going to be given by this expression here of 3a a is equals to 2 plus b let me write properly here plus b which is equal to 5 all right so that is going to give us 6 then we take 6 to the other side b it's equals to 5 minus 6 which gives us equal to negative 1 all right so having that in mind now let's move on Mm, i hope you guys can see let's move on to the next page because i'm running out of space now or can i still squeeze in something here yeah, i think i can still write now uh, let me see now we have got a b and now we just need to find c but now if you were to use this expression here guys please this thing here that i'm putting in the box here please make sure that you know it pause this video and write it down you're going to need it it's not there on the formula sheet all right so now we were given that a uh, 11 t11 is equals to that so now 
we can come here and say okay t11 is equals to 90 so what do we know we have got a we can go ahead in our equation the general equation of tn is given by this tn it's equals to a n squared plus b n plus c so now we can substitute this into this equation here which is, is equals to 90 so we already have a a is what a is equals to 2n okay and then we already have b b is minus 1 so therefore it's going to be minus n plus c we don't know what is c it's equals to 90 we're just going to move to the next page and we're going to carry this equation to the other side all right okay there you go so we already got 2n squared a uh, minus n plus c it's equals to 90 all right so but we already know that when it's equals to 90 this is given by tn when n is equals to 11 so we can substitute n into this equation therefore we will be able to find c okay here we go it's equals to 90 therefore when we solve this all together we are going to get we are going to get in this case we are going to have 242 minus 11 plus c is equals to 190 uh, when you minus 11 from there and then minus 11 take everything that side i ultimately found that c is equals to minus 41 all right so therefore our general equation for this expression is equals to 2n squared uh, minus n minus 41 this will be our general equation all right is that what they ask us they ask us to find the question said to find the first term of the quadratic equation so the first term would be when t when n is equals to 1 so we're gonna substitute n is equals to 1 in this case here so tn no no t1 rather okay there you go 1 squared minus 1 minus 41 so our answer in this case i punch this in the calculator one squared two minus one is equals to one one minus uh, 41 so the answer will give us negative 40 is our answer all right guys i hope you really understood this question if you don't understand please leave a comment on the comment section below and then i will do my best to assist you but please don't forget what i said you guys must keep in mind and make sure that you don't forget it i'm gonna repeat it here right here and i'm gonna write it down here all right i said what do we have you've got 2a which is equals to second difference of the quadratic sequence please guys don't forget this 3a plus b it's equals to t1 of first difference and then you've got a plus b a plus b plus c is equal to t1 of original pattern of original number pattern great stuff so please keep this in mind when you're dealing with a quadratic pattern it would really assist you all right moving right along let's move to the last question uh, in this question 2 which is 2.3 2.3 says the sum of the first 50 terms of an arithmetic sequence is given by that and then it said calculate the sum of t t 25 and then t 26 All right so we know from an arithmetic sequence that where the formula to calculate the sum of the terms is given by sn over n over 2 uh, bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d close bracket okay so therefore in this instant uh, we already know first 50 terms so it means our n is equal to 50 in this case this is our n and then this is our s n so what are we looking for we're looking for the sum All right so therefore we said 120 175 is equal to 50 over 2 the first term we don't know what is a and then we also don't know what is the difference but we know n is equals to 50 minus 1 and therefore d we don't know what is d in this case 
right so when you simplify this all together we are going to have uh, in this case one five yeah one seventy five one two seven five one two seven five is equals to twenty five all over two a plus forty nine d close bracket so therefore in this case what you can do is to divide divide both sides by 25 if you divide both sides by 25 we are going to have in this case we are going to have a uh, 51 is equals to 25 and 25 would cancel out we're going to have 29 plus 49d okay great stuff so now if we were to do this and then we were to say this 51 what are we looking for we're looking for t25 uh, plus t26 in this general instant so now this can also be breaking down here into this equation you can break it down this 2a you can break it into uh, a plus 25d right so this will be like t25 this is this is representing t25 plus a plus 20 uh, let me see if i'm doing this right uh, plus 24 is it uh, yeah, plus 24 d so when you add this together you, you come back here so therefore what does this mean therefore this means this means t25 plus t26 is equal to this 51 here because when you add this it goes back there all right so therefore ultimately this should be equals to 51 right i think this was a very interesting and a very good question please guys leave a comment on the comment section below if you don't understand please let me know i will do my best to make another video to explain this let me see you on the next upload where we'll be doing june exam 2024 question three four five and the whole paper please make sure that you watch the video after this one i am gaston mapala see you on the next upload